Hi there everyone, we're in the stores at the Royal Society. I'm here with Rupert and today we're talking about one of the most famous physicists of all time. I'm sure you've heard of him, Erwin Schrödinger. And here are all the boxes that involve candidates to become fellows of the Royal Society. And these two boxes here, this one, thank you Rupert, and this one are going to tell the story of Schrödinger's candidacy. Will he become a fellow of the Royal Society? Maybe he's a fellow, maybe he's not. What's in the boxes? We won't know until we open the box. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? <laughs> There's no cats in there. All right, let's go and have a look. All right, Rupert, now normally when we would talk about a candidacy, I imagine we would have one box, one certificate. Yep. Maybe they're in, maybe they're not, yep. but there'd be one certificate. We have two here, and that's because this is a bit more complicated than usual. Right, so yeah, the story of Erwin Schrodinger's candidacy for the Royal Society um, begins in 1946. Okay. So we've got one certificate of a candidate for election to the Royal Society. Surname Schrodinger, Christian name Erwin, and it says where he is, he's the director of this school of theoretical physics in Dublin. But Schrodinger's Austrian. Why yeah. is he in Dublin? Uh, he'd been in Dublin since 1938. In fact, he was invited over by a mathematician called Eamon de Valera, who was also a very noted Irish politician. And de Valera wanted Schrodinger, who was obviously keen to get out of um, Nazi Germany and Austria at the time. He wanted him in Dublin to start a Dublin Institute for Advanced Studies. Now, at this time, Schrodinger is already super famous. Yep. He's already a really big deal. Yeah, he had a Nobel Prize from the 1930s okay. for um, wave mechanics. Okay, so we have here in this do not exceed 100 words section for qualifications, it talks about Schrodinger showed how the energy levels of the hydrogen atom may be calculated as the eigenvalues of a vibrating system. This epoch-making discovery introduced Schrodinger's wave equation and formed the beginning of wave mechanics, but remains as the most powerful mathematical method for dealing with problems in atomic theory. This is interesting too, Rupert, from personal knowledge. So these are the people who are proposing and seconding and yep. sort of vouching for him. He's got some big hitters here. He's got here. some serious names on there, yeah. Even I know Paul Dirac, yep. Max Born. Who else yep. have we got here? Got Pat Blackett, who was Royal Society president during the 1960s. Those are the three that leapt out at me, I must say. Okay, now there is a C Darwin, but stay calm. It's not who you think it is, obviously. <laughs> yeah, it'll be Charles Galton Darwin. It'd be a descendant. Right. Same family. Okay. He's got some of the most important scientists in the world saying, you should elect this guy. Yeah. What happens here? Is he getting in? Well, he's on the list for 46, 47 and 48, but there's a problem during those times. It's very complicated. If you're a foreigner living in a foreign country, you can become a foreign member. But if you're living in a Commonwealth country or a British Dominion, as Ireland technically was at the time, um, you kind of fall between two stools. He still had Austrian nationality, so he couldn't get in as a foreign member because he wasn't living in a foreign country. But he wasn't Irish, so he couldn't get in as a, in as a fellow. This I don't think they thought that out when they drew up the certificate. They're a little bit um, too quick off the blocks. OK, this is very Schrodinger. So, <laughs> so, so he doesn't get in for these first few years, at least. Mm. And you, you think maybe it's just because they, they put him in the too hard basket? Probably, yeah. yeah. OK, let's go to the second box. Yeah, Ireland had become a separate country in 1948 and I think Schrodinger took out joint Irish and Austrian nationality and we were starting to forget about World War II so all the all the goalposts are lining up as it were for him to be elected okay. to the foreign membership so they put him on this list statement of claims for foreign membership this okay. is a council paper from 1949 and here we see him Schrodinger E so these are people that the committee of the Royal Society is basically saying we need to consider these yeah, people these are serious candidates for foreign membership you've got Max von Laue isn't on there as well he's another very famous name so this is kind of almost the nod and the wink fast track it is a fast track yeah, yeah. for foreign members only and Schrodinger is on page seven okay. so there's a citation there which is pretty similar to the one on his original okay certificate. more of the same it's kind of just a bit more detail than last time he says at the start here Erwin Schrodinger born Born in Vienna in 1887, he is a senior professor at the Dublin Institute of Advanced Studies. And then I think this next sentence is telling, Nobel Laureate, an honorary member of many scientific academies. <laughs> yes, but not ours. Yeah, all right. Quick. And this is what comes next. Yeah, and so the, the paper itself, that's the slightly earlier date of the 7th of April 1949. So as a result of that, this is another slightly different kind of ballot paper. Proposal for foreign membership, Erwin Schrodinger of Dublin, distinguished for his contributions to quantum theory. Yep, short and sweet. And then these are the signatures. This is the council, isn't that it? That is council, yeah, that's everyone on council. Okay. And so there we go. dated 7th of April 1949 and it goes to the council meeting on the 12th of May 
and you get straight in. He's in. Yeah. So he's no longer in that box, neither a fellow or not a fellow or both. He is officially a foreign member of the Royal Society. The from... cat is alive. The cat is alive, yes. Okay. Here's something I didn't ask you before. Does he come over here and sign the charter book? Yes, he does, yes. His signature's in the charter book? His signature is in the charter book, yeah. You know I'm going to ask you next. Can we see the signature? <laughs> yep, why not? Let's do it. All right, so Rupert's been off in the other vault and he's got my favourite book in the universe, the greatest autograph book of all time, the Royal Society Charter Book. You've also brought this with you, which is fantastic. I love that little picture, yeah. Look at him. There he is, lighting his pipe. Autographed picture as well. Alsbach, 1956. That is a lovely, a lovely piece. All right, let's have a look through this fantastic collection of signatures of nearly everyone who's ever been. Nearly everyone. We didn't get Einstein. Bit of a sore point that Einstein never signed this book. <laughs> but Schrodinger, we hope, will be in here. I love all these great names that just go flying past. It's, it's excellent. Uh, there we have it, Erwin Schrodinger. He's one above another really famous name. Chandrasekhar limits of black holes and things. But there we go, Schrodinger. It's Alan Turing. Oh, he's on, the, he's on the same page as Alan Turing. Same column as Alan Turing, yeah. Same column as Alan Turing. Brilliant. That's why I love this book, Rupert. It's amazing, <laughs> isn't it? Treasure on every page. Yeah. I know, it's fantastic. There we go. Interesting little Schrodinger-esque tale about Schrodinger's candidacy for the Royal Society. No cats were harmed in the filming of this video. No cats were alive or dead. How many more cat things can we get in? That's the question. <laughs> <laughs> but look here. I like this photograph very much better than any other which has been taken of me. Charles, Charles Darwin. Darwin. My son. <laughs> There you hey. go. He's like, well done, whoever took this photograph, which There's we probably know. Probably the most famous Victorian photographer, Julia Margaret Cameron. Oh. Very fa fantastic photographer. It's very nice to know that we know for sure <laughs> which photograph of Darwin was Darwin's favorite. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you what else this confirms. Those eyebrows. He liked them. Like that wasn't just like exaggerated for the sculpture. Have a look, Those, they're serious. Uh huh. But this would be his Twitter profile pic, obviously. Like. <laughs> <laughs> that, that has been made clear to us. Yeah. 